Oh, what a jerk. All right. Come What's back. your favorite Disney movie? Uh, favorite? I no, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite Disney movie. You mean it's not The Lion King? Because it should be. Well, I like The Lion King. I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite. Oh, jeez. Um, it's my favorite, so it should be everyone's favorite. Um, the Lion King is just good, like, on a general level. Um, I don't know what my second favorite would be. Maybe... What counts as a Disney movie I can say is a joke. <laughs> Tron? No, that's not a joke answer. People actually like that movie. Aww. All right, um, fine. Pete's Dragon. I've never seen it. It's it's not a part... Like, some people really, really like Pete's Dragon. I'm going to say, like, from a film standpoint, it's not a particularly good movie, though I guess that's not really a fair way to judge it. A lot of people would argue because it's a movie yeah. from a very different age. And it's a, a movie that is about a lot of very different things than what Disney has been doing for the last decade. <laughs> like, it, it deals with adoption, and it deals with, like, 1920s sort of style adoption, where the, the kid is literally bought and owned, like, property, and then he has, like, an imaginary friend who's a... I died. <laughs> I got hit by the guy's boomerang on the way back. Jesus. Did you notice how many lives I was down to, by the way? No. Not a lot. Eight. Oh, hey, there's a pause screen. Yeah. Is that the first time we've seen it? Yeah, I think this is the first time I've shown off that pause Shit. screen. Shit. Uh, eight lives, here. though. Eight out of 21, which is what I started with. Wow. You've lost uh, so many hats. I know. I had so many hats to start with, like a whole collection of hats. Yeah, you had them stacked up one on top of the other, <laughs> and they've been slowly getting knocked off. Oh, my God. So... <laughs> I, I recently was watching a bunch of art films, because sometimes I do that. I'll watch foreign art films. Well, aren't you fancy? <laughs> yeah, I knew that one was coming. Uh, sometimes, oh, nice dodge. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'll watch foreign art films, though. And I, I recently watched one that nice. was from 1979. What, what happened there? You, you got hit, and then you got hit in the back, and it took you back on? Yeah. I, I got hit, and it knocked me away, and then I got hit, and it knocked me towards it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank God. A lot of stuff there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, All right, yeah. So, so you were being a snob and watching art films. Yeah, don't don't judge me for watching art I'm films. I'm not, I'm joking. Jeez. Oh, are uh, they not, not making you is it time? Oh it is yeah, time. Yeah, it's timed. It's time, but they give you plenty of time. I was watching art films and I watched a uh, a film called Harpia, which is from uh, 1979, and I believe it's a Hungarian film, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's about maybe nine minutes long. Uh, if you guys have never seen it, which I'm guessing most of you haven't, I would suggest that you do watch it. Uh, it's pretty good. It gives you some kind of weird... Wait, can I not even... Oh, that's in the background. Oh, that one's sneaky. It doesn't look like it's in the background. Um, I thought it was in the background and was wondering what the fuck you were doing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can hit it, though. I hit it with my ring. I didn't hit it with an Oh, enemy. this is so inconsistent. <laughs> and now it's a bigger door, so you know that that's probably the final one. Yeah. Harpia is about a nine-minute long film. It's 1979. I believe it's Hungarian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's got a really weird art direction on it. And, it, like, I would describe it as maybe stop motion, but it involves what almost looks like pictures, except they do move sometimes. So it's, like, very, very very maybe low frame rate video that's been cut and spliced into things that kind of look like maybe they've been painted on and it's completely without like words uh and it's this really weird uh art yeah, film yeah i completely forgot it's just it's a really weird art for uh, film and i completely forgot why i had brought this up um obscure hipsters no 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 there was a different thing um Getting hit with a boomerang. No, it wasn't the boomerang that did it. It, it It's a very strange a film. Oh, a hat. That's what it was. Uh, the, one of the things... This film is played completely seriously. Mm -hmm. And it's about, like I said, nine minutes long. The main character consistently is wearing a hat that he will take off. And there will be an identical hat underneath it. 
And when he leaves, he'll pick a hat up off of a hat rack and put it onto the other hat. And there's a scene in the movie where he's getting ready to leave and he puts like four hats on off of the hat rack and then turns and walks out and then gets dragged back in and before he can leave again, notices another hat on the hat rack and picks it up and puts it on. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, that's us. It's just a man wearing many hats. A cat wearing many hats. A cat in many hats. And he comes back and like fucks up your tub. (laughs) <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, no, your mom won't care. I always forget Cat in the Hat came back as a... The, the, the Cat in the Hat... What is it? The Cat in the Hat comes back. Yeah, like I think The Tub called, is right? the first book. It's been I a while. Remember. I used to I, be more up on my Seuss. I forget that that is a book, is what I was trying to say, though. The you second that book. there's multiple cats yeah. in the hat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I often just think of, like, the first one and then don't bother thinking of the second one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was popular, so we made another one. Yeah, well, I mean, I understand that. Uh, Dr. Seuss, by the way, really interesting guy. If you look at a lot of his work and start seeing his stuff before he did a lot of the Dr. Seuss, like, children's books, he did so much uh, stuff for the war. Yeah, he was, I want to say he was generally anti-war. Yeah, he was. uh, But, like, that's where the money was. That's what they wanted him to do as an artist. He also did a lot of um, advertisements for just random stuff in magazines in, like, the 40s, I guess. Um, yeah. There's like a huge uh, body of work of Dr. Seuss that's not even his his books. It's pretty cool. You can usually find it if you look for Dr. Seuss's work. They they tend to have uh, big compiled like sets of it. So there's um one well actually let's let's get a bearing on where the fuck we are. We're yelling at Gaudius. <laughs> yeah, we're yelling at Gaudius. We're in like a why. tiny little gazebo on the moon. <laughs> Yeah, he's doing a bad thing, and we're telling him not to do a bad thing. Anyways, Dr. Seuss once wrote a book about naked ladies playing with horses. <laughs> um, it's, it's called, like, the Seven Godiva Sisters or something, and it's like, he's... Okay. I, I, I don't know why it exists. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Confusing. Yeah, so this is this is, is your fight with Gaudius. Uh, I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do here. Do I go through each of these, or... Or do you wait for him to attack? Oh, well, now he's throwing out enemies. Nope, those aren't enemies. I touched another one. Oh, Does God. Does that reset his attack cycle? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh! Uh. uh... What, uh... What do you want for dinner? I don't know. I'm just gonna avoid this guy, and then maybe I can pick these up. I don't know. Can I? Oh, those, oh, are, those are enemies. I can pick those up. Can I just? Yeah. Okay. Just so you just pick them up and throw them. Him. So I'm supposed to be avoiding these. Is what I'm supposed to be doing. I immediately went right for it and like jumped my butt down on it. Yeah. I'm guessing at some point he's gonna throw stuff out that it's gonna not benefit me in any way to uh, be inside here for or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, did I actually hit him that time? I don't know, but you lost your moo. Yeah, no, I know I lost my moo. I'm also losing a lot of my health. And he's not. Yeah, no, he's he's pretty strong. He's a pretty strong dude. Uh, Yeah. I think that's one hit that I've landed there on him so far. So we'll see if I can get any more on him and... Yeah, there you yeah, go. That's the yeah, third yeah. hit. Those uh, those other ones, by the way, don't matter. You you can't get yeah, enemies just, out of them, so they they're just explodies. Yeah, they just explode when they touch the ground. And um, here we go. Here's something different. Okay. He's the king of what nightmares? So something like that. I guess he's just being nightmarish. Uh, yeah. What what even is happening here? I I eggs. I wouldn't have called them eggs. They look like jellyfish to me. Yeah, he's got weird... The news or nightmares, I guess. So, oh, one of those has turned into a thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not quite yeah. sure what's going on Yeah, here. there's a lot going on here visually, too. Yeah, Why do we gotta there's be a in, lot like, to unpack, man. this weird warp portal thing? There, there's an awful lot to unpack here. On a here. ring made of uh. tombstones? They look like they look an awful lot like tombstones and then we've of course got the boss who's a giant man made of space with like a like, mask and gloves on he looks like a blanket with gardening gloves 
He doesn't actually look that menacing. A little bit. He's not menacing in the slightest. I think this might be our final boss, by the way. I, I no, can't it's quite not. remember. I'm pretty sure there's a bigger <laughs> thing. Okay. That egg we saw is going to hatch. Pretty sure. Oh, jeez. Now we're playing pool, I guess. He's setting this <clears> up. Uh, whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. He's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He is. And I can't... I think I need to, to get close enough to pull those out without touching it. But I don't what know the... how likely that's really going to be. And you can't switch to the outside <laughs> to try and get some other uh, gameplay in? No. Oh, that doesn't do nothing. No, I can't. Not until I... There we go. Oh, did you have to, like, wait for him to... Yeah, you gotta... No, no, no. You open? have to hit one. You have to hit one okay. of the corners. And I can't hit the same corner because that one's not going to do it again. But if I can hit the corner, it, it winds up uh, opening it up. I guess the idea is that it So can't... you never have to go to the outside if you can dodge everything because he's almost out of health. Yeah, I think the outside is a, is a throw mistake. throw that forward? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's it's kind of difficult to get some... Oh, wow, he's... I think we're both down to a single hit apiece. Yeah. Jeez. So you gotta wait for him to rotate that. Yeah, if he rotates it. I don't know if he does. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, all right. That time he rotated it. I was worried he was going to not rotate it at all and just leave it the way that it was. Ooh. Oh, come on. Let me do this. Uh, jeez. Oh. Shoot. You can probably <laughs> still get that. Maybe. Uh-oh. Not like that. There oh. we go. Yeah, I threw that one forward, too. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Photo finish. <laughs> yeah, I had half a heart. He had one hit. Like, oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, so the My king goodness. of nightmares is dead. Do we remove his five hats? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you just start taking the bird hats off. He's got different kinds. They're different colors. We saw them. <laughs> no, no, this one's gold, so the next one's silver, and then the one after that is his real face. Maybe. <laughs> Oh god, Pamela's go. here with all and the chiefs. The... Is that a chief? Yeah, uh, okay, maybe not. He's like the, <laughs> it's the man who built the tower. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's the replacement for your grandfather, who I guess was the chief. Probably the chief. <laughs> but he's dead now, so I mean, you know. Yeah. So they're all weirdos who Except don't make any fish. sense. She makes sense. Yeah. Well, that that's the boy <laughs> that's the, the and baby that's version. the son, and then the mom was just here, and she makes sense. Yeah, her hat doesn't make a lot of sense. Is she supposed to be a jester? Oh, or? her? That's a different mom. I was talking about the fish mom. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I'm talking about Hupo's mom. Yeah, Hupo's mom is fine, I guess. Hupo's looks like the she's one got, I like, don't like. It's fucking royal headdress of like the Jiraiyans, but it's crossed with like a weird Joker thing. Maybe. Because it doesn't show her hair, it just looks really dumb, ultimately. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta fight Nahatum, I guess. So, Nahatum is... I forget? Is that just a, a monster trapped in a prism? Uh, okay, so Phantom Isle is totally separate from the world they're gathering the dreams from, is how I'm yeah. interpreting this. Yeah, okay. So, that egg. Yeah, that egg we saw at the very beginning of this kingdom. <laughs> no, no, at the end of the first level. Yeah, we either saw way. It. We saw that earlier, is what I'm trying to yeah. say. And then we kept seeing the other crystal. Like, that one's just in a central point. Uh, and he's just a talking head at this point. He looks yeah. like a nail. A little bit. Like, maybe there's supposed or to be a second stink. one, and they touch each other, and then a hammer comes in and just smashes them through something. Yeah. Like a bird crossed with a, a triceratops or something. Yeah. <laughs> I hope someone takes his stupid robe body and, like, just uses it as a blanket. I wonder just why he's, that. he's got them little earrings on. Do you, the, what? Yeah, yeah, do you see him, like, the oh, little dangling? Oh, yeah, they're dangling off the ends. I, I kind of wonder if, like, that has any purpose whatsoever. Like, I don't know. Was he... Are those a part of the mask, do you think? Or are those different editions? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, the egg is hatching. Into uh, one of Casper's uncles. Yeah, he looks like a Casper uncle a little bit. 
So this is Nahatum, the greatest villain the world's ever... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, is, what is he, like, nightmare given form or something? I don't Did you say care. nightmare? I said nightmare. Well, is a nightmare a thing? Uh, is a nightmare when something scary happens in the daytime? Because those are worse because that's real. Is nightmare like an angry horse that visits you uh, and, during your no dreams? No one's made that joke ever. <laughs> Is a nightmare the same thing, but it's like got eight legs and it runs on beams of light? What? Whatever. Is Sleipnir a nightmare? <laughs> no, Sleipnir is Sleipnir. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we get to see them go up to the top, and then we what gotta are go they fight them. Do? I don't know. They're chiefs. Maybe they'll throw their arms up and give us their powers. Maybe. Maybe if we get all of them together, they'll seal Ganon you away for us. <laughs> yeah, he was just standing there and shaking in place. You'd think he wouldn't shake at all because he's floating. Yeah. Is he still bound to gravity? Like, I think maybe he's nervous. Oh, okay. So he's just really nervous, but the ground is also shaking. Yeah. And he's like, hey, Klonoa, you're, you're <laughs> the main character. Don't die. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, look at that weird thing they're standing yeah, on. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> I see. So everybody else gets to ride on Pamela, and you guys are stuck with Carl. <laughs> well, he's pretty. <laughs> and there's only one of us plus you... Hupo, so we can fit. Do you easily. want to keep going, or do you want to call it quits here? I think we should have dinner. Okay. Uh, so any final thoughts for this session? Uh, sorry for rambling. <laughs> Please go look up Bevanfield Presents Aladdin. It's priceless. Yeah, we've been rambling a bit. It's like 99 cents in the thrift store. I think next up is going to be the final boss. Yep. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>